If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Chaos Engineering series. In this episode, we are going to learn about Chaos Toolkit. Chaos Toolkit is a open source software which comes with Apache 2 license. It is a Python based tool. And also it is a non CNCF project. In the CNCF landscape, you can find Chaos Toolkit under non CNCF. It is a Chaos as code tool. Basically, you will define your Chaos experiments as a code. And then it is very highly automatable, highly extensible using OpenAPI. And it supports various extensions for your experiments. To get started with Chaos Toolkit, all you need is Python 3.7 or later and it supports only C Python. Other flavors of Python, it might not work. All you need is to create a virtual environment, activate the environment and you can use the uh, pip package to install the Chaos Toolkit. And once it is successfully installed, you can verify the version using the Chaos hyphen hyphen version. So these are the few important commands which will be very helpful. First command is Chaos help where you will see your help commands for your chaos and one of the commonly used command is chaos discover using the chaos discover command you can discover the capabilities and the experiments for your needs and chaos discover chaos toolkit hyphen kubernetes this is one of the example which we are going to see in the demo which will help you to download the experiments and capabilities for the kubernetes next is chaos init so this is the inception command you will execute to initiate your chaos experiment. After initiate, you will define your experiment in the JSON format. Then you will use the chaos run and your file which will execute your experiment in the order it appears. Then after the execution is done, you can execute the chaos report to export your result into HTML format or PDF. In this demo, we are going to execute a chaos init, chaos run and chaos report. And we are going to see three different experiments. One is with the pod delete and another one is the deployment delete. And the third one is easy to terminate with some uh, attaching and detaching the volume and starting the instance. Now it's time for a quick demo to learn about chaos toolkit. The first experiment we are going to run is for the uh, Kubernetes pod delete. I have already installed the Kubernetes cluster in uh, DigitalOcean. Now let us validate the nodes using the Kubernetes kubectl uh, get nodes. So this will display uh, two nodes. And as you see here, I don't have any pods running in my default namespace. Now let us create a deployment using the uh, kubectl create a deployment. And then let us uh, name as Nginx with the image uh, nginx and with some replicas uh, 3. So this will spin up uh, 3 uh, pods. So now if you enter k uh, get pod, you will see uh, 3 pods uh, which will be up and running in a moment. Now let us kill this pod using the chaos toolkit experiment. For that I am going to navigate to my vs code and in the folder structure you as you see here, there are three folders. One is the delete deployment, easy to delete and pod delete. Let me expand the pod delete demo. Before that, uh, let us quickly see how you can initiate and how you can uh, uh, define your hypothesis. Now let us create a directory and let us initiate the chaos toolkit. So let me just rearrange the uh, panes here. So make directory uh, demo and let us go inside a demo and the inception command is chaos uh, version just to make sure uh, the chaos is installed properly or not. So in this case, we are using the latest version, which is 1.12.0. The next command is we are going to initiate the uh, experiment using the chaos init command. So this will give you the uh, wizard. First, you have to install the uh, experiment uh, title. Let us give a experiment title as a demo and then it will ask you to enter the hypothesis. So hypothesis means the normal state, typical uh, normal day, how your application behaves in the production. It could be uh, say up and running or service will be available for all the customers 
or the response time should be uh, less than one second etc so those are the some of the uh, examples of the steady state so in this case uh, let us define the steady state say uh, service uh, available for all uh, users and hit enter so this will create the experiment dot json uh, boilerplate let us open this experiment in the demo folder so now as you see here it is a json uh, manifest and here as you see the title uh, description tags and other details and uh, here we have to define our experiment as a method and uh, if you define the steady state basically it will check for the particular entity whether it is available or not before the experiment and also the after the experiment so that is called a steady state hypothesis since uh, we are going to delete the pod in our uh, kubernetes cluster i have already created the uh, sample uh, experiment so now let us open this particular experiment.json under the pod delete uh, demo now let us quickly go through this particular uh, experiment so here the title says do we remain available in face of pod going down so that is my uh, the title the sample title and the description is uh, some sample description. So under the steady state, as you see, I am defining the verify uh, service remains healthy. So using the probs under the uh, module at chaos kh dot probs and the function is a deployment underscore available underscore healthy. So this is the function which we are going to call and it will make sure before the experiment, it will check uh, for the uh, service availability and after the experiment also it will check. So this is our steady state hypothesis. The next section is method. So this is where your whole action uh, comes into play. So this type is action and the name is a terminate uh, pod. So in this case, let us terminate uh, nginx pod and the provider is Python and the module is chaos kh.pod.actions and the function is terminate underscore pods. So we have to instruct chaos toolkit. So which pod we need to terminate because there could be uh, n number of pods which will be running in your namespace so we have to clearly define so by default it will go to default namespace and then under the argument section you have to define the label selector using this label selector it will pick the pod and then it will randomly kill the pod using this pattern so as you see here nginx hyphen and some regular expression so it will identify using this pattern and the label then it will randomly terminate the pod. So now let us uh, execute this and let us uh, go back to the, uh, the previous directory and let us uh, enter the uh, pod delete demo. So now let us uh, kill the pod using the chaos run and experiment.json. So this will execute the uh, method and then it will just uh, terminate and now if you go to the terminal and hit kubectl get pod so nine seconds ago a new pod has been spun up and then now it is a part of the deployment so it will not impact the user service availability so this is our simple pod delete experiment with our hypothesis now if you go back to the vs code here and as you see there are no errors and our probe is a success steady state is met and experiment ended with the status completed it will also generate a file called journal.json so this journal.json uh, will keep everything in this particular format which will be very helpful to create the report chaos toolkit supports uh, formats such as html and pdf so you have to mention the uh, export uh, format using the export hyphen uh, format so in this case let us uh, spin up the uh, html report and then you have to enter the journal dot json and then you need to enter the uh, html uh, name so in this case let us say my report dot html and if you hit enter this will generate the html uh, report so now as you see here on the left side my report html uh, got created now let us uh, open this in our browser so as you see here, this is the sample report which got generated by the chaos toolkit. And here, as you see the summary uh, experiment and then uh, under the experiment, we have the summary again, definition, result and appendix. 
now if you scroll down it will uh, you can see it will list out uh, various information about the uh, steady state method and the result so this is how you generate the report in uh, chaos toolkit so now let us uh, go to the uh, vs code again and let us uh, see how we can uh, delete the uh, deployment so now i am going to open the experiment.json under the uh, delete deployment experiment so in this case after deleting the deployment the whole deployment goes away and if you have the gitops up and running so the gitops should take care the uh, bringing up the deployment in this case i don't have any gitops running but once now if you delete the deployment that's it all the end users will be affected now if you uh, see in the line number uh, 24 to uh, 35 so this is where we are defining the method so in this case we are using the delete underscore deployment and then again we are using the arguments to define which deployment to delete so now let us execute this to execute again we need to uh, go back to the respective folder so in this case it is uh, delete uh, deployment and just execute uh, chaos run and experiment dot uh, json and hit enter so now this will delete the nginx the whole deployment will be gone let us uh, just go to this particular uh, terminal k get pod as you see nothing is available and similarly if you get a uh, kubectl get and deployments again you can see there are no resources available in our log you can see it is failed so why it is failed because after the experiment is done it is trying to validate the hypothesis since we don't have the deployment nginx up and running so now you can see the experiment ended with the status deviated so since it's deviated a weakness may have been discovered because once the deployment is gone the whole users will be affected right so this is how you validate the negative aspect of your application so that you can uh, identify the weakness and uh, fix the issue so in this case the solution is to run the gitops so that is one of the approach you can follow uh, to keep your deployment always up and running so now let us uh, see about the uh, aws so ec2 uh, i have come up with some uh, experiment let me open the uh, folder ec2 delete uh, experiment so in this case i am doing something a uh, little bit of uh, advanced uh, experiment so in this case we are going to uh, stop the instance as you see the first method is uh, stopping the instance and then we are going to detach the uh, random volume and then we are going to start the instance and we are going to attach the volume so there are four steps uh, i have just uh, added each step has the uh, pause so after this action it will wait for 20 seconds after the detaching it will wait for 20 seconds then start the instance which will uh, wait for 30 seconds then it will attach the volume so using this experiment the hypothesis is assume that there is no volume attached uh, to the ecg instance so what will happen to the data what will happen uh, if some job is running and uh, the job is uh, has no disk space uh, to process it successfully so, so i have come up with some kind of a uh, advanced uh, scenario to test the uh, resiliency of the uh, ec2 instance so now let us go back to our ec2 console so in my ec2 console i am running uh, as you see uh, one ec2 instance in the ohio region which has the two volumes so this is the uh, root volume and this is the another volume i attached our experiment will uh, first it will uh, stop this instance and then it will detach the volume and after a while it will start the instance and then it will attach the volume so this is our experiment so this experiment hypothesis is assume that the user is accessing or some job is running during this downtime uh, it will have some delay or it will uh, fail so that is our uh, hypothesis we have to test that now let me just uh, launch the experiment.json here and let us quickly go through how it's been structured in case of aws uh, you need to do a couple of uh, things one is the uh, aws cli that configure you have to configure otherwise uh, your chaos toolkit uh, might not be able to reach your ec2 instance then you have to mention the configuration uh, section for the region so which region you are going to run the experiment and each method uh, will have the instance id and also it will uh, use the respective functions so you have to take care you can uh, copy and paste from the chaos toolkit uh, help 
So in this case, uh, let us uh, change the instance ID. Let me just go to the uh, AWS console and uh, copy the instance ID and let us uh, paste it here. So totally uh, we are running uh, four uh, steps. So we need to replace it in all the uh, four steps. Okay, now let us uh, go to the respective folder. Okay, the very first step is stopping the instance and then it will wait for 20 seconds and detach, wait for 20 seconds and then uh, start the instance, wait for 30 seconds and attach the volume, wait for 10 seconds. And if you go to the top, I have mentioned uh, none in the steady state hypothesis. So basically there is no hypothesis here. In case of hypothesis, then it will uh, take the action uh, before and after the uh, methods. Now let us begin the experiment using the chaos uh, run and experiment.json. So first it will uh, stop the instance. Now let us uh, go back to the ECT console here. And if you hit refresh, as you see, nothing is running. And our chaos toolkit demo is getting stopped. Now let us uh, go to the uh, VS code. Here you can see wait is waiting for uh, 20 seconds. So after uh, 20 seconds, it will detach the volume. Now it is detaching the random volume. Now let us go to the console and hit refresh here. And if you select the instance and go to the storage, as you see, the volume has gone. So it is detached. Now it will wait for 20 more seconds. Then it will start the instance. So now if you go back to the AC2 console and if you hit refresh, as you see, this status is pending. And then after 30 seconds, it will attach the volume. So it will not uh, detach the root volume. It will attach only the, the custom volume we added. Whatever the volume got uh, removed, that will be attached again. So it will not pick up the, the random volume. So whatever the volume got detached, that volume only will be attached again. Now, if you hit refresh, as you see, this is running. And if you go to the storage, as you see, the volume is attaching again. So this is how you carry your experiments by defining the methods and then uh, you can generate the report. Now let us uh, use the uh, export format report journal.json and if you hit enter this will generate the myreport.html. Now let us uh, open the folder. Let us quickly navigate into EC2 and double click on myreport.html as you see your report has been generated and then you can see all the status. So as you see from the demo, uh, Chaos Toolkit is highly extensible. It supports various experiments. It has various capabilities. It supports K6, Dynatrace, Grafana, public cloud providers. It's a lot of uh, add-ons available in the open source uh, repository. You can check it out. And if you are a CLA expert or gels with CACD, Chaos Toolkit uh, may be a tool for you to carry out the chaos experiments. So that's the case on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.